All right, here we're going to look at an example of dividing a whole number by a mixed number. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make both of these into single fractions, and then I'm going to take my division and write it as multiplication. So I'm going to write 10 as 10 over 1. We'll leave the division alone for just a moment. Well, we'll make this into a fraction. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. We still have the 5 in the denominator. Well, they leave my first fraction alone. Division becomes multiplication. And then we flip our fraction over. And at this point, well, I think, are there any common factors? Well, 10 and 5 in the numerator. There's only a 1 and a 13 in the denominator. Uh, nothing has, uh, uh, we can't reduce any of these fractions immediately. So I'm just going to go ahead and multiply. So 10 times 5 will be 50. 1 times 13 is just 13. And of course, we could leave it as a fraction. We could write it as a mixed number again. So let's see. Uh, so if we do 50 divided by 13, let's see, I guess 13 times 3 would be 39. We could subtract. That would leave us with 11. So we could write it as a mixed number by saying it's going to equal 3. 11 is our remainder. Uh, divided by 13. So either one of those would be correct, again, just the improper fraction or as a mixed number.